And from the results ribbon tab, let's look under the interactive grouping and select the results grid to review our results. First, we can review the coach dress tab, which by the way, our plot also shows the color coded plot. So if you have a second screen, it's very useful to put the grid on a second screen while reviewing the plot as well. But I'm just focusing here on the results grid for the time being. And you can use options like filtering over to the right to only select certain combinations that you're interested in reviewing. Keep in mind that when reviewing these combinations, any combination that includes the T1 load case automatically includes the concentrated force and moment that we added in at point A3N. Any combination that includes the E1 load case automatically includes the imposed support displacements that we added in. And there's no combinations in this tab showing the U1 load case because we deleted them so that we never make the mistake to review coach dress results, including the cut short. Over on the right side, if I filter the combinations that are turned on to just my occasional cases, my sustain plus E1, sustain plus E2, sustain plus W1, sustain plus W2, and sustain plus snow. And I'm gonna turn that on for the analysis set two, analysis set three, analysis set five, and analysis set six. And if I scroll back up to the top, just looking at point A00 as an example, what I wanna point out is that your combination for sustained P1 plus E1 in analysis set two and sustained P1 plus E1 in analysis set five, the wording or the naming of the combination might look exactly the same, but the fact that they are being considered in different analysis sets with different settings does matter, as you can see, because the results are slightly different. Again, you can do this example with another load case as well. So if I look at my sustained P2 plus W1 for analysis set three, and my sustained P2 plus W1 for analysis set six, Again, you see that the results are slightly different. Even though the naming is the same besides the analysis set number, the results are different, and this is because they are set up differently. Analysis set three is leaving the supports that had lift off alone, and analysis set six is removing those supports that had lift off. And those yield different results, as you can see here. So it's very important to understand your combinations and how everything is set up for your different analysis sets. As another example, let's switch over to the supports tab. And again, I'm going to pick and choose some load cases. This time I'm really interested in reviewing my occasional cases, but my operating cases with the cut short considered. So I'm going to unselect all. I'll select on my GE1, GE2, GW1, and GW2, and also my GU1 case, which is my sustained case with the cut short considered. As I scroll down, those are all from analysis set one. As I scroll down, I'm gonna then pick from analysis set two, my operating cases, GT1, P1, E1, E2, W1, and W2, and then GT1, P1, U1. So the cut short with my operating case. Again, I'll scroll down to analysis set three. I wanna pick GT2, P2, E1, E2, W1 and W2, and then U1. And I'll do the same for analysis sets five and six. So analysis set five, GT1, P1, E1, E2, W1, W2, and U1. And analysis set six, GT2P2E1, 
E2, W1, W2, and U1. You might want to take this even further and uh, combine your cut short with your wind load or with your earthquake load because right now we're looking at the earthquake and wind results in the operating cases without the cut short considered, but maybe you definitely want to have that considered. And if so, you would want to create additional combinations with U1 added on to those as well. Now, again, if we take a look at our different analysis sets, for example, if I zoom in a bit, if I pick G, T1, P1, E1 for analysis set two, and I compare that to G, T1, P1, E1 for analysis set five, you may see some differences. In this case, we don't, but you might because they are set up a bit differently. So as a better example, very slight difference, but I'm seeing a difference at least. Uh, if I look at the G, T1, P1, W1 for analysis set two, and I compare that to G, T1, P1, W1 for analysis set five, we see uh, slight differences here. Again, that's because the two analysis sets are set up a bit differently. So you can continue to review these results. If there are any questions, you can reach out to us. Um, but at this time, this concludes uh, the example for the static analysis and loads training class. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.